guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. In this video, we're going to talk about this question that I received from one of the subscribers here from the channel. And he said, Hey, can decide whether to go with Shopify app development track or the front end development track, right? And what I will say is, guys, that either one is fine, right? And you know why? Because they both overlap each other. Okay, if you look online for most of the jobs that are looking for Shopify web developers, you can see that they're pretty much asking for the exact same things that you would have to go and take in a front end development, right? And the same thing for like let's say Shopify app development or even theme development. So let's take a look at this job here. It says Shopify web developer uh, dash e-commerce. Okay, letting you know exactly what's the industry that they're focusing on. Okay, uh, what you'll do, manage site, code base built on Shopify plus, ensure all the code on the site is in use or remove, build new Shopify storefronts based on mockups and wireframes, uh, manage private applications built for Shopify. Okay. Uh, construct design solutions with e-commerce team, work closely with UX designers, work closely with brand managers, etc. Okay. And if you start looking into here, it starts showing you, Hey, some experience with Shopify, Shopify plus. Okay. Uh, also to experience with Shopify and liquid templating engine. Okay. Uh, building, maintaining private apps on Shopify is required. All right. Experience with Laravel, PHP, MySQL, React. Vue JS, no JS preferred. Okay. Uh, pretty much what they want is for you to actually know at least one of those frameworks. Uh, most likely they are using react. So again, if we go into here for let's say front end development and you look at my curriculum that we teach at codingphase.com, you can see these are the things that we teach, right? In the front end stack. Okay, we got text editors, HTML, CSS, terminal for developers, advanced CSS, Flexbox, and Grid, CSS animation, SAS like a pro, get like a pro, future proof JavaScript, JavaScript animations. Everything in here is all about JavaScript and the basics of it. Also, to how to make responsive HTML emails. So, even though you're working in e commerce, all of the skills in here. They're going to be useful because you are going to be doing emails. You are going to be creating transactional emails, uh, for that e-commerce company. Okay. Um, how to deploy your website, right? Debugging like a pro learn how to debug, learn how to find the errors, learn how to actually find the solutions. Once you find those errors. Okay. Uh, object oriented programming with JavaScript. It's a must. Okay. jQuery ES6 to ES10 and beyond. All right. React quick and easy redux, the easy way react to infinity react native. Those are the things that most companies are looking for, even for a Shopify developer, even though again, don't get this confused. Some people think that just because you're focusing in Shopify, think of it like this. Shopify is the e-commerce industry. Okay. So you're focusing on web development, which it could be in the front end, the back end, or being a full stack developer, but then you're also focusing on a specific industry and the needs of that industry. Now, when we go into the Shopify app developer, we can see that pretty much most of the things that are in the front end stack, it's also in here. The only difference is that you're going to learn more about, you know, PHP and Laravel, which is a back end framework. You also learn about, uh, express and Node.js, Koa, right? Uh, Shopify app development with Node.js, advanced Shopify app development with PHP and Laravel, Google analytics and Facebook and Google ads marketing, right? Those are the things that companies really care about. Okay. So at the end of the day, they both overlap with each other. So if you choose to go with the front end stack, okay, learn the front end and then from there, come back in and say, I'm going to learn Shopify, either theme development or Shopify app development, right? All of those skills that you learned on the front end, you could literally drag them and bring them with you. Okay. It's not something different. It's not like, oh, all of those things that you learned in the front end is not useful. It's literally the exact same things. The only difference is that now you're going to learn more specific skills for Shopify. So either way is still good. Okay. So even for those of you guys that maybe have learned in other places, you know, you already know the front end, you already know the back end, right? And now you're planning on, on learning Shopify development at coding phase, like, Literally those skills that you already learned, they're going to be useful. 
okay for this all right for those of you guys that don't know when they talk about shopify plus most of the time they're talking about working with shopify as a headless cms meaning that you're connecting to shopify right and you're basically building a website from the ground up okay and connecting to shopify through APIs. There's a lot of companies that's doing this right now, and I'm gonna show you guys a couple of examples. All right, guys, so now let's look at the websites that I told you that are all using Shopify Plus and using the storefront API from Shopify, basically using Shopify as a hella CMS. Uh, most of these companies here, you're gonna see that they're all using React, and a lot, like I said, a lot of the skills that you're gonna learn in the front end stack or even as a React developer can easily be transferred to becoming a Shopify developer, okay? Especially once you're working with this type of companies uh, because this is the technologies that they use, okay? So again, this is Inkbox. They sell tattoos, basically fake tattoos that look real uh, for adults, right? So tattoos is no longer for little kids no more. Now, <laughs> you know, grown people want to be putting tattoos on themselves, you know, a little fake tattoos, and, and that's fine, right? It's better than having something permanent that maybe you won't like it in a few years, okay? So Inkbox is one of the companies here. As you can see, it's super fast, okay? Uh, we also have Staples. This is definitely another company that's using Shopify as a hella CMS using their storefront API. Okay. We can see right here, they're using Vue.js, they're using GSAP, style components, they're using React, they're using Boomerang, Lodash. Okay. There's a lot of things that they, they're using in this company. Let's jump to the next company. Uh, this company is called Chili's bottles.com, right? They also have a storefront API uh, type website, right? We looking here, we look at what they're using. They're using Node.js for the backend. Uh, they're using uh, Vue, they're using GSAP, they're using Nux.js uh, for this website, right? So Nux.js, for those of you guys that don't know, is like the Next.js, but using Vue, okay? Um, a lot of new companies, they might use that too. Um, let's jump into the next one. This one right here is koala.com. And, and this is a very interesting website because they, they also did like a, a huge report on how their website works. And for those of you guys that are looking to get into this world of e-commerce and, you know, front end development, react developer, right? Shopify developer, et cetera. Right. Um, this is a great report so you can see exactly how they actually made this thing work so in here they have content full they have even the TikTok pixels like they're using everything in here okay uh but they're using view nux uh nux nux okay so for this one they're using uh nux i remember they were using react i wonder why they switched to nux okay but yeah if you're looking here hellas commerce is flexible uh, commerce okay this is the report i'm gonna put this on on the description below just in case you you're interested in this okay so there's a lot of different ways of doing the exact same thing and you could use any framework to be honest with you like it doesn't have to be react it doesn't have to be just next year's like literally you can use anything and you, you could even build this with vanilla javascript of course using a framework is going to make your life easier okay uh but yeah man this thing actually breaks it down for you it shows you exactly how it works you got the client au.koala.com you got s3 buckets you got ci uh, event builds right uh, PWA, right? Pages, uh, API products, right? Cart, right? You got the shop client, right? Uh, the checkout. And look how this works, right? Let me just show you guys a quick, simple uh, example of this. You see au.koala.com. This is the website itself. So it's going doing requests to Shopify, bringing in all of the product information right and then from there when you want to go in and buy something right you can have something like this and it will be like a customized website but then you click on shop now it goes to the product page okay and then from there you could come in choose let's say 2.5 seater let's say add to cart and when you add to cart it adds it to the cart now all of this is done here on this website au.koala.com but when you want to check out you're actually checking out to koala mattress.myshopify.com. Okay. So this is actually their Shopify 
website, right? Their Shopify um, basically account, but their website itself is being hosted in au.koala.com. It's sort of similar to what I do with codingphase.com. So codingphase.com uh, is built with Next.js and we're using Netlify uh, to host our main website. But then from there, when you want to buy something, we're using a third party company, which is codingphase.teachable.com to host our courses. It's the same idea, right? It's the same idea of how things are being built nowadays. Because the thing is that, let's say, for example, if you want to focus on what your website looks like or uh, what you're offering to to your customers or giving them a, a great experience, like something like uh, this Chili's Bottles, which has like, you see all this animations, the way how it loads up, all the images load up. You click on the, the bottle, click on view, right? You have a beautiful look. You can't really do this with, with the Shopify uh, website itself. You're going to have to go in and build another website and then connect to that Shopify store and then from there, uh, you can go in and, and get that purchase, right? So again, you can't, there's a lot of stuff that you can't do in, in Shopify, but you can do that on your own website and then just use Shopify for the, you know, payment gateway, use Shopify for security as far as accounts, right? Like you don't have to worry about user authentication. You don't have to worry about any of those things. You let Shopify handle that. Okay. And at the same time, you have uh full, full support from, um, you know, from this company. Okay. It's crazy. Look, look, look at the name that I gave this. I don't know if you guys see it. Scam. Likely. <laughs> It's a scam. I don't know if scammers keep on calling me. Okay. Um, but yeah, man. So this is the way to go, guys. So as far as, you know, the front end, React, uh, uh, you know, Shopify development. Guys, when you come to codingphase.com, like there's a reason why I only jump on certain things, right? I teach you something that you can go and use again later on, right? Like if you're coming in here and you're learning the front end development stack, right? And from there you decide, you know what, wouldn't it be cool to go in and start doing some Shopify theme development? All of the things that you learned in here can be transferred over to the Shopify theme development uh, stack, right? Once we go in and say, hey, I want to jump into Shopify app development, everything inside of coding phase is related to another course that you took previously, okay? That's why it's a subscription website, okay, is because... I wanted to make sure that I created a curriculum. I came up with something that it felt natural. It wasn't like, you know how sometimes you're taking a course from somebody and then you go and you jump into another course and it's like completely different. It's a different flow, different way of doing things. It's like, nah, when you come to codingphase.com, you have everything laid out for you. And at any moment you could go in and say, you know what? I like HTML emails. Let me go and jump into the HTML emails. You know what? I like React. Let me jump into React, okay? Hey, I learned React. Let me jump into Shopify, right? So at the end of the day, all of the skills that I'm, I'm putting out there for you guys and all of these things that we put at codingphase.com is like every single course is related to another course that you took previously, okay? So you're not going to waste your time if you focus on the front end and then later on you decide to go and jump into Shopify. You could always do that, all right? Like literally, this is what <laughs> this website is for to literally hold your hand the next two, three years of your life as a developer, how to get your first job, how to go in and get your second job, how to go in and start making income independently, but building up on the things that you learned down here before you even had a job, right? So every single thing that you're learning is like, it is building upon each other. Okay. So either one that you choose, you're going to be fine. Okay. So definitely, you know, go check it out guys. Again, by the way, if you want to learn codingphase.com, like go to codingphase.com and learn how to code. You got everything in here, guys, like you're good to go. All right. Um, another thing that I do want to mention, we are going to be adding, uh, two new courses to the Shopify, uh, app development course. One, which is going to be with digital app. Uh, for digital ocean, sorry, digital ocean app. Okay. 
Um, and the reason why we we have this one, we had one right here, which was for vapor. But after me using vapor for about eight months, vapor is very expensive. So I don't want you guys to spend the money that I spent using vapor. So we're going to use digital ocean um, app service. So like that could be cheaper for you because again, you guys learn from my mistakes, right? Vapor is great. It's a great automation system and, and it's amazing. But at the same time, it's very expensive. It's like $45 a month. And then from there, you got to pay for AWS. So easily you could go in and, and just to host a simple application, it could easily go to a hundred, two hundred dollars per month. Okay. With digital app or digital ocean app. Sorry, I can't speak right now, but digital ocean app, right? It's way more cheaper. So we're going to be adding that course to the Shopify app developer. And we're also going to be adding once we finish this, uh, react career bundle that we're doing right now, uh, we're going to jump into creating a hella CMS, uh, website using the front end API, uh, all with react a hundred percent done with react and next GS. So definitely stay tuned for that. So yeah, man, this year is going to be packed. Okay, this whole year is going to be packed for all of you guys that are members of codingphase.com. You're good to go. You don't got to go nowhere. You're going to get everything that you need to make money as a developer, either by working for somebody or becoming your own boss when you're ready. Okay, so either way, I got you. I'm going to see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Peace.